Hello again, uh, Dr. Rahadian here. Uh, the issue uh, related to the atypical bipolar disorder, which is a, uh, a condition that uh, the uh, person suffering from that has uh, liability of mood, uh, frequent mood changes, inability to control the sense of uh, stability, explosive affect uh, is there, uh, related to basically uh, inability to handle any irritability and basically the genetic background of that goes back to childhood with uh, related uh, issues with uh, attention deficit disorder and hyperactivity basically which could uh, end up uh, causing problems with alcoholism and drug abuse. It's a very complicated and uh, uh, compact uh, uh, discussion however the issue here is that there is a bigger body of uh, research at present time related to the increased prevalence of atypical bipolarity in the community, specifically uh, and mostly in California, uh, which uh, has now been more diagnosed and the treatment with uh, uh, different uh, types of uh, anti-seizure medication, which is not FDA approved, however, has been anecdotally uh, seen helpful with regard to uh, stability of mood and affect and uh, uh, dealing with control uh, of uh, the possibility of decompensation and drug addiction, which I will discuss uh, later in later programs.